So I'm here with Christophe Fugelsang, who was on the ISS, yes. right? Yeah. Uh, so Christophe is a physicist. Uh, we worked together on a project on GenUso. Uh, I'll talk about that another day. So I just wanted to take the opportunity of my visit here in, yeah, uh, in sure. Sweden, in Stockholm, to ask you a few questions. Uh, very stupid questions. No, uh, that there's you no, probably, stupid, no stupid questions. <laughs> you probably got this question so many times already. <laughs> so you were on the ISS. How, right. how is it? How is it like? Oh, uh, it's it's wonderful feeling. I mean, it is uh, two very special things. One is the weightlessness. You just float around, and it's a wonderful way of living. Yeah. Always complicated, also sometimes. Uh -huh. uh, and the second is the view. The view down on Earth. I mean, and, and it's uh, beautiful and it changes all the time since it only takes 90 minutes to orbit the Earth. Uh -huh. So uh, you never get tired so of the views. So you spend a lot of time watching the Earth? Or? Well, not enough time. Yeah. Uh, I was working hard, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> but whenever yes. I had some extra, some free time, I was trying to watch down the Earth, yes. Okay, yeah, this is a question I wanted to ask you actually. Uh, do you have some time to, to find a peace of mind just to relax or meditate or is it always very busy? Well, um, during this shuttle flight, which I took part in, which was a two weeks flight, a uh, very tight schedule. But of course they give you plenty of time to sleep and prepare before and after sleep. So uh, if you're not too much behind in the work, you, you get time where you can relax okay. and just uh, enjoy the views and such things also. And, and do you realize what's happening? You have time to, I mean, for instance, you, you did the EVA, uh, mm -hmm. extravehicular activities, which is quite a privilege for, at least for us, it <laughs> sounds amazing. Uh, but I know when you do that, everything is uh, very precise. You have a lot of things to do. Do you still have time to realize what's happening to and to enjoy it beyond the work? Yeah, I, I mean, sure. I didn't yeah. get time to do that. I mean, certainly, you, your first priority, the, what you feel is most important, is your safety. Work carefully, yeah. and you want to make sure that you do the job correctly. And then, so we also try to focus on what you call situational awareness: uh -huh. what's happening, what's going to do next, etc. But Still, there are moments where you may have to wait for either your partner to do something or for the ground control to give you uh, some clearance for something. Uh -huh. And then uh, you can enjoy the views and just think about okay. where you are. Uh, and I, I made sure I got that. I, I remember talking to a colleague who had done his first spacewalk uh, some months before me and he said, I came back inside after you know six hours out, and I realized I didn't remember anything because I was so focused on the work oh, all the yeah. time. So, yeah. No. So I, I wanted to to know if you have regrets, the things that you wanted to <laughs> to to take the opportunity to to experience. Well, uh, this, uh, I wish I would have had more time, but yeah. this, I'm not regretting that I you did, did something the... which I could have done something else instead. I mean, of yeah. Course. I have more time, I could do even more fun things, but, uh, but I'm happy you don't that. feel you, you, you passed uh, beside the opportunity, you really had, you were conscious enough to... Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, definitely. that's great. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Okay, uh, I wanted to ask something else. Yeah, okay, this is more a physicist question because we both are physicists. That's right. And uh, we know that uh, the orbit around the Earth is actually a free fall. So mm -hmm. the space station and yourself is just falling. The only thing is you're, you're feeling, you're, you're, you're falling while moving aside and so right. you fall forever. Do you, so we know that because we are, we are, we are post-Newtonian physicists, but do you feel it? Could you think about it or do you just think you float? Yeah, do you, you have a sense that you are falling? No, you don't have the sense that you're falling. Yeah. Um, I think uh, that's when you get it, for example, if you're in an elevator or something, fall down or in one of these amusement yes. parks when you're in one of these full, free fall things. Yeah. It's the initial kind of acceleration. Uh, acceleration. That's what you feel. <gasps> But yeah. when you're in a constant free fall in weightlessness, yeah. you, you don't have that feeling. It's like you just feel you're floating around. It's just uh, fun. But 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 did you try to to see it that way? To 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 see yourself 
actually in balance between a centrifugal force and uh, no. a gravitational force? No, you, you did not? No, uh, no. And you think it would not be possible, actually? Well, I mean, you can always imagine, no, but to, f to feel that you are falling to the earth? No, really, you in, don't no. feel that. I mean, no. okay. uh, um, sometimes people get a little bit vertigo when they start to do a spacewalk uh -huh. again. No, you, you you open the, the hatch, the hole of four 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 down. There's ground, and you start to move around, and uh, Earth is moving, and you're moving, and, and then people can get a bit of a vertigo for a while. But uh, what is, what is uh, what is the strongest? The thrill, or, or the or the fear, or or just the no, sense mainly, of freedom? What yeah, it's mean the uh, thrill, maybe, and. Yeah. Uh, the, Going outside is kind of a sense of freedom, yes. Yeah, more. Uh, and yeah. Yes, you realize you need to be careful um, and you need to understand your space, you be very careful when you prepare everything. But uh, mainly, your, your bigger fear is to make a mistake. You don't want to do a stupid mistake. You practice yeah. this for years, it can be very expensive. Everyone sees what you're doing, and when you do the mistakes, it's uh, very embarrassing. So, so, you think about uh, th you would, if you mess up, uh, it will be expensive, people will be angry. You don't, you don't fear to just uh, get lost in space. So no, uh, no, it's I, really not. We always have several layers of uh, safety. So, yes. for example, if I would uh, do something stupid, I would lose my grip and start floating away. Yeah. Then we have a safety tether on the reel, so that should catch me. Even if that wouldn't work, we have another layer, layer of safety on the, this kind of backpack we have, uh -huh. which has all the life support system. There's also a kind of a safety rocket packet, which you uh -huh. can activate with small and, and you can fly yourself back to the space and station. this you you repeat it before that you can only practice in virtual reality lab yeah yeah but you do that in the and it's it, lab. it gives you confidence it gives you confidence that you can you save can yourself so oh, okay therefore also you're less scared okay Good, and uh, I don't want to take too much time. Uh, yeah, this is a question I was asking myself. Do you, uh, can you uh, forget Earth or is it omnipresent on the contrary? I mean, you are floating somehow, uh, you're in free fall physically, but so there could be absolutely nothing in the universe but you and what you s um. and the space station. Can you forget the Earth or? or? Well, I guess you Oh, is it uh, an attraction point or is it in your mind that you know it's there? Yeah, I, I think it's, you know it's there in mind. Of course you can focus your, uh, and sometimes you, you focus your attraction way. What do you think about the, the future of space exploration? You, 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 we are talking a lot about Mars these days. Uh, do you think that's something that we will see soon, a, a man in Mars? <laughs> well, this Mars. depends what you mean by soon. I'm sure we will see people on Mars. The question is when and who uh, uh -huh. will go there first. And uh, I also be that we will return to the moon before we go to Mars. I mean, You think so? Yeah. Oh yes, yeah. because yeah. there's so much still we need to learn going to Mars, which we can can develop Practice. on Moon, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, and there's also science to be done on the Moon, and that's close by. So I'm sure that we will go back to the Moon in the order of ten years, and then I think we'll take another order of ten, twenty years before we go to Mars. It's less and technological question, a more uh, kind of economical, political decision. Yes. Unless maybe some private company kind of just um, de decides to go in. Yeah, like I, I really Elon Musk with SpaceX, he kind of, he said, I'm yeah. going to do it then. He might do he it. He could do it. I remember discussing with you some years ago uh, about uh, this uh, Mars One uh, mm -hmm. thing that with uh, a, t a reality TV uh, show things, and you 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 thought it's absolutely impossible that this yeah Mars One Mars One will, 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 yeah. will never happen. They may not get the money. They themselves don't have the technology. We have to develop a lot of technology. Yeah. I think it's also unethical it's to, to have a 
program where you say, okay, we're going to send people there and yeah, they will and this develop is and, a, uh, deep, uh, and you really vision. would commit yourself to support them for decades and decades and uh, how can you know you will have the money for that? Yeah. So, no. That's what never happened. Okay, and very nice thing. So we are working together on the JMUSO, this yes, experiment fun. to study the ultra energy cosmic rays, uh, and we are trying to put an instrument in space, maybe in the space station. Do you think you will be back on the space station before we put the instrument? No, unfortunately, my boss told me a long time ago already that okay, good job you done yours, and now we need to send the younger people. So. If something very special happens, I will not be going to space again, although I wish I could do it. Ah, uh, okay. But it's not that, maybe. Who knows? As long as life, just hope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>